Hi everyone, thanks for joining me again today. Um, and thank you for uh, the comments on my last video and for the well wishes. I am feeling much better, uh, getting better day by day. Uh, this one was a clinger, <laughs> what can I say? Uh, so, I have had a few questions on my channel about um, how would I decorate uh, or cover this folio that I showed. Um, gosh, we made it together last week one day. We've got this bit in here. And how would I decorate it? So um, this is what I came up with. Uh, I'm not going to show you again how I, how I made the actual folder. I will link below to that video. Uh, but I will show you how I um, would cover it uh, prior to putting all of the bits in. So I have one that's already folded. So basically it is, um, yeah, I'm not gonna go through the folds. We're gonna, we would put our um, accordion in here and I'm not going to worry about that at this point. So at the point that you have it, the base done and everything is cut, then I would look at covering it. And all I would do is I would cover the outside. That's my thought. So in order to do that, I've pulled some papers and I hope I have enough. Um, these are some beautiful um, papers from Rachel at Roxy Creations. And so I was thinking, you know, we could just put paper down here. Do I have that? That's really pretty too. I might, I think. This is the outside over here, so I think I'll save that one for the very outside piece, and we'll take it from there. So, this is all I'm going to do, is I'm going to measure, take my little pin out, and you could probably use glue stick for this too, and I know that this paper is going to come to about here. So I'm just going to cover this with glue, and I'm using art glitter glue at this stage. So, I don't know why I said at this stage. I'll probably use it for the whole thing. And just make sure I put lots of glue on the spine. Oh, I've gone farther than I need to. That's okay. But I want lots of glue on here. Hope you guys are all well. Um, and then I'm just going to line that up with the edge there as much as I can. And use this. I got one of these from uh, Triple V Vintage from Vern. Um, I just love the size of these. I saw Gail use, using them, and then I had I had Scraper Envy. So. <laughs> So because this is the this edge, I want to make sure I get this one on here really well. And I'm going to just come to here because we're going to we can cover that with something else. So once again, this is going to go to here. And this is pretty simple. And you could use glue stick for this. Um, you'd have to wait for it to dry for a little bit. The other thing with glue stick, and it's not a it's not a problem, you just have to be aware of it, is that it will it can warp your page and so you're more inclined, I find, to need to put whatever you're doing underneath a, a heavy flat surface for a little while um, after it dries. So I'm gonna set this so that I get that beautiful gold trim on the edge over here on this this beautiful bit that's going to be sticking out. I want to make sure I have that gold trim there. So, and you could collage this, and that would be lovely, absolutely lovely as well. Um, now, think about using that paper. Or 
I could use a piece of this. This this gold bit appeals to me as well. And this is also Rachel's it's from one of her botanical kits. These are from her old papers kit. I'm not gonna worry so much if it's got a bit of a rip in it. I don't think I have my I don't. I don't have my, um, sorry, I'm not finishing my thought. I don't have my um, cutter next to me. Because everything else has straight edges, then I feel compelled for this to have a straight edge as well. So I'm going to take this and put my glue on here. And um, and then I'm going to put it down there, like so. Grab my scraper. Okay. And I want to take. Where's that other part of that piece of paper? <laughs> oh, it's over here. Perfect. I'm going to take and just see if I can rip this effectively. Okay, perfect. And I could line that up. There's no reason why it can't go over more. And I think I will. I'm just going to have that go all the way over. I think that might be for a, make for a cool look. So I'm just going to put my glue on there. I haven't done this before, so hopefully this actually you know, will look okay. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to glue it to the edge there. Cut that with my thumbnail there. Okay. Great. Now, I think what we'll do is we'll just cut this before we do the little, little ends, little bits that flip up. So I'm just going to go in and you're probably better off taking a smaller um, scissor for cutting into that curve. There we go. You can cut here. Just thinking, I hope I'm actually on screen. I've got the grandkids coming over later today, so I'm pretty excited about that. It will make for a very happy household in more ways than one. <laughs> and then over here, this doesn't, this is probably super unexciting to watch. Now, I'll tell you a tip. If you have a very small circle punch, and you can see there's a little bit of paper there, you can take your little small circle punch and just go in there, and that would catch that bit of paper. Um, so, so I'm happy with the paper so far. It's gonna, we're going to let it dry a bit. And I think I want to cover those. So... We could just, okay, I, recognizing it's going to come up the other way, isn't it? You don't want anything that has a direction that, well, I mean, it could be upside down, but it's like that. I think of this as being the top of the flower, so I want to do it so that the top of the flower is going to show up. So I'm just going to put my glue down here. 
and we'll put this on and then we'll be able to put that on there come right to the edge and then we'll be able to cut that off in a few minutes do I have another type of paper I have this paper here and I think I'm just going to cut but I think I'm going to need I just chose this one because it looks like it would go with it that's the upside down so I'm putting it upside down so that it'll be upside right because it folds up and I'm just going to put my glue on there take it to the crease I just didn't think I would have enough time if I tried to do this with um, just want to straighten that line if I tried to do this and show you how to do it again, fold it again. I didn't think I'd have enough time. I think that's probably correct. I wouldn't have had enough time. So we can, apologies again, we can turn this so that we can cut it. And what you could do too is you could cover the whole side before you actually even go about uh, scoring it and whatnot. Um, in that case, you would end up probably covering, you'd be covering this little bit here that ends up getting cut off, but that's fine. You could use that for something else after it's covered. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Okay, Got these bits. this this little guy here and I just want to go up and around the corner like that okay there we are so we end up with our folder um, these are going to come up like that and I'm very happy with those now usually like for it to be completely dry, anything I do that I've glued to be completely dry so that you don't get any creases But when it opens, but I think we're fine. Um, that's going to come in like that. That's where our uh, accordion would go. And then this comes in like this. Oh, it's pretty. Really pretty. I'm happy with that. I remember, did we put... Yeah, we put a um, spot there for uh, tucking things, but you could put any sort of tuck spot you want. And then this is going to come across like this. Like that. So pretty. Look how pretty that is. My goodness. Really happy with that. And that's the back. And you can, of course, put a pocket on there as well. But all of those, because they're Rachel's papers, you find if you, you, you use papers from the same maker, they all seem to coordinate with one another. So what I've done in the past is I run a I run a, a stitch across here to keep those, to turn those into pockets, which I probably will do when I'm done, but I'm just gonna put them up like that for now. I don't have the envelopes handy to make the accordion in here, but I will do that later. So we just wanna hold those down. We put our scissors there, keep them down. Um, do I have? I do. I have the vellum. Um, I cut some vellum to be able to do the pockets that we had in the last one. Um, 
so I can put these in. Since we have time, might as well do that. So I'll put those in. And I, I definitely recommend you go to the other video if you want uh, instructions on how this is folded in the first place. And then I've got a couple of smaller pieces for here. There's a big old truck going by. Actually, that might be the train. So we're going to set that in here, like so. So these would be nice pockets. Uh, and like I said, I go through all of that in the, the other video. I sure wish. I, I've got to the point where I could join two videos together and then, um, and then my loading time was just ridiculous. Like it, it just made it so that it wasn't feasible. It was 18 hours to load uh, a video that had two joined, you know, just to get it to 45 minutes, which I think is just silliness. Absolute silliness. So that's not, yeah, it'll stay down once I, once I put the, um, run it under the machine. Just this part, I just zigzag it at the bottom. And then We'll do the, I'll put the accordion in here. You could decorate the inside as well. Like for me, I just didn't think it needed it. Um, and then up here, we're going to, I'm going to put uh, a piece of cardstock here and just cut it. And then I will create a um, spot to put the, um, Violet. So, just put some glue on here. I just like to do that because it creates extra reinforcement. And I want to put it right about there. I'm just looking at where these pockets are. So, I want to put it right about there. I also cut a piece of Tim Holtz paper to create a tuck spot here. Now I have that. I also have a, a tag that I've made and that's, um, gosh, what papers are those? Those are by chapter one. I think it's from their French florals. And I think that would make a nice tuck spot. So I'm going to use that instead. Why not use what you have at hand? I think it's a, also a great way to go. And I'm just going to place it there. Not going right to the edge because I don't want it to have to, to go over the edge. Let's see, where are my... I'm just going to grab my crocodile. There we go. And put a hole here, like so. Put something heavy on that to keep it down. Um, and then I'm just going to grab an eyelet. assume we have an accordion in there. Like I said, that's going to want to be sewn. But this one is already laying flat for a pocket, which is great. And then I have, I have some sari here. Let's just see. Sometimes it's got lots of, lots of stubbies. Fluff. 
So what I like to do is have it about a foot long and then I'm going to take it and just go through like that. Pull everything through. This is plenty long. I think I have like over, definitely had over a meter there. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to go one, two, and then I'm going to tie it up. It was just an extra piece that I had hanging around. Gosh, that color looks really well with, great with these um, papers. Gosh, I have to get rid of that fluff first. That's pretty. I just, when you get fluff like that, I just cut it at the side and then it'll fall off. Be careful not to cut the sari itself when you do that, but it does help. The only thing is if you've got anything wool on, which, I mean, for me, wool is a four-season fabric. Um, my husband laughs at me. Uh, well, I mean, I'd like to say he laughs with me, but no, he probably laughs at me. He says I, I he can't understand why I'm cold all the time, but there you go. And then I'm just trimming that off. Uh, but yeah, I, I have fleece that I wear in the summertime. I mean, not in the heat of the day, but at some point during the day, it's coming out, the fleece. It's definitely coming out. So that is how I would decor, cover it with paper. Now, you might want to do it a whole different way, and absolutely, you should do what feels right for you. Uh, but yeah, I'm very, very happy with that. Uh, those papers look absolutely stunning on there. Um, and that's what the inside will look like. This is where our, our non-existent accordion is going to go. <laughs> uh, and then I can put uh, another pocket, like I could set this here if I want it. Um, don't know that that's the right color now, but I will put something here. Like for example, I have a couple of, of Tracy's little tags, like you could have something like that as a tuck as well. Uh, and um, there she is. That is our folio, how I would go about covering the folio. Uh, and absolutely, if you want to cover the inside, you could do that as well. There you go. So thank you so much for watching uh, and putting up with me. I know that was probably not the prettiest video to watch because you were looking at just a file folder full screen for a long time. So thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye.